take a country of Israel, for example, or United States, for example, or even for that sense, Iran, for example, where you might think that all these countries are religious. What is happening in all these three countries are a major hub in the world. People are losing their beliefs. They are becoming atheists. And this is a threat to the global world order. They don't want that to happen. This is why you have this October 7, 2023 resurgence where the Israeli government itself cons conspires with these foreign recruits that they put together to attack Israel. Why? So they can create a fear factor among the Israelis. You know, essentially it's a cult telling them, listen, you know what, if you, move, if you set your foot outside of the border of Israel, they're going to get you. So if you let us do what we're doing and shut your mouth, we're going to be able to handle this. Essentially, they have hijacked these poor people. And that's the stance for everywhere. There's only one solution for us, and that is to put aside these beliefs that cause our misery in the first place. The Europeans, in the aftermath of World War II, they realized how dangerous playing around and fooling with the Christian ideology it is. So they formed the European Union, and now they live with each other in harmony. However, what is criminal about these people is that they understood that now they can implement the same religious fraction and fragmentation ideology of Judaism versus Islam in another part of the world. The same thing that fed the machine of the Nazis that was Judaism versus Christianity, now they're implementing the same thing in another part of the world in an organized matter so they can make money off of it and throwing the uh, Jews and the Muslims like gladiators in front of another so they can feed their own uh, arm manufacturing companies and making a hell of money out of it while increasing negative energy and pain and suffering on the mankind. Take the case of Saudi Arabia who also at the same time while it claims to be a proctor of Islam and religious values at the same time has connected with you know Israel simultaneously as well with America. Essentially they're the devil's advocate you know they're feeding the both sides of the game. We're not getting anywhere with these ideologies. We're left alone my brothers and sisters. The politicians across the world are all in one team and we are all in one other team. If we don't put aside our differences there's no future for us. Perpetually they, they're using our own psychology to create a rift among us and make sure they can control and uh, have a grip on us. 